Hello my friends and welcome back to MTD CNC North America. Today I'm with my buddy Steve from Heimbrook North America and we're going to talk a little bit more about the Top Plus Mini Truck from Heimbrook. Now, we know all about the rigidity, the precision, the flexibility, even 25% more rigidity these days. Steve himself has 25 plus years of machining experience, including turnkey centers, and he's now with Heimbrook going to teach us a little bit more about how this system can help all of you out there. So Steve, thank you so much for talking with me, talking with MTD, and sharing this story about Heimbrook America. Yeah, good to be here. So let's get right into this. Let's talk about this amazing product you guys have and how all of these little pieces can help support a customer because there are multiple facets to this Mini Plus, right? This is the Top Plus Mini Chuck. We'll just start with that. Um, this comes in, in many different sizes, uh, as small as size 26 up to a size 100, and, we, and that's our standard product offering. And we have uh, larger product offerings available as well. Um, this particular model is a size 65 Top Plus Mini and it'll clamp diameters from three millimeters to 65 millimeters. Wow. So if you've got a two and a half inch bar machine, this would be the chuck that you would, would like to, to put on that machine, typically. Um, we can do, uh, and just loading clamping heads is as simple as, we have a simulated system here Simple as so, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this would be your draw tube actuation to tighten up the clamping head or to clamp the clamping head. And then you can, so change over is that quick. So, but the, the great part about the modular system is its, is its flexibility and interchangeability. So this here is an ID mandrel. So this also goes into the chuck area. Very nice. Okay. We have a three jaw module and a two jaw module that also goes in there. One thing that I'll show you about the ID mandrels that I don't believe I've seen before. Okay. Is this is how you change out your bushings. So huh. tapered cone, keyed, got a split ring. And we can do custom end stops for IDs um, and and ODs, whatever you whatever you need. So I have an end stop system that'll go back into the back of the chuck um, to monitor part, so to maintain part length. Uh, I also have front end stops that will orient the part if you need to do that. Um, all this is interchangeable with our stationary systems, which. We have a Mando or a Manoc here, um, and all of this interchanges with that. So you can go from the lathe chuck to a stationary mill, five axis machine, horizontal, vertical, whatever you like. Um, we also offer a uh, face driver and Morris taper adapters that bolt onto the face of the chuck. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was this three jaw module. So this goes in and you got to turn this to get this to engage. And this is a safety feature. So you can't take that wrench out until that's locked into position. Okay. That's a bonus. So I'm watching you, Steve, and we're really, you know, switching from one to another to another in a matter of seconds. Now, of course, when we're in a machine shop, we're going to have to, you know, take some measurements, make sure there's not run out, you know, that, that all mm -hmm. that precision's there, of course. But it's kind of rudimentary, and, and this is something we do regularly, but you've just switched from a lathe or a turning machine to a mill, OD, ID, two jaw, three jaw, in a matter of seconds, which anyone can do in their machine shop at any time. Mm-hmm. It really is that easy. And we talk about flexibility. We re reiterate to our global audience flexibility. But this, to me, is one of the most, if not the most flexible system on the planet, it seems like, right? Right. I mean, we're literally standing in front of a table right now, switching things out easy. And if this was in a turning machine right now, it would almost be easier than standing in front of this table, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we'd be set up. We'd be ready to go. So... 
I really, the, one of the misconceptions out there that I see a lot is when I think of Heimbuch, and I talk to people about Heimbuch, hey, you know, what do you think about it? Oh, it's a great product. Yeah, we really like it. Well, what do you use it for? Well, I use it on all my lays. We have so many products. Well, did you know you could use it on your mill? What? I can use it right. on my mill too? Yep. You know, and that, that concept, I believe, is worth reiterating. I've talked about it a couple of times, but it's important to realize that if we have a vise on our machine, a lot of those beds are big enough now that we can drop this in there as well. And now we're doing multiple axes on, on three axis machines, three plus twos, whatever it might be. Right. And you guys support that part of the industry as well. Yeah. And the other the other nice feature about the mini chuck is, is it's got a reduced nose so you can get to center line. And, and typically, you know, most live tool lays have a 12 station turret um, and you can access, you can utilize a lot of those tools uh, with the mini chuck compared to three jaw chucks and, and things that are, that are typically put on the machines. So you can get more tools, more tools in the machine mean more complete parts done, done in, in one operation. And in, in my experience, based on this being reduced, as you just mentioned, a lot of times we're trying to squeeze, you know, as you say, as many tools as we can, but also longer tools, right? We're trying to reach greater right. depths and whatever it might be. So any extra space we can get from that chuck area it's is an advantage. absolute bonus to that turret area, right? Advantage. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, you mentioned at the beginning of this, and I'm probably going to get my numbers wrong, guys, but I'm going to try to remember. You said... 26 to 100 are the numbers and then three millimeters to well this one is goes from three millimeters to 65. three millimeters so. to 65 it almost seems like with your added 25 percent rigidity on your product on this incredible german made product you're the some of the machines might not even be able to handle it that it would fit into you guys are All actually right. maybe you know have more rigidity than the machine can handle oh uh, it's i mean you're looking at 120 kilonewtons of clamping force uh, on the machine so or on the uh, on the chuck, so it uh, and it takes very little hydraulic pressure to create that. Uh, so it's it's uh, pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing system. I imagine a guy your size can hold about 120 uh, kilonewtons as well, right? No, no, <laughs> not even close. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. Well, Steve, thank you so much for explaining this technology. It's always good to learn and share with the global audience about the uniqueness of what Heimboot can do. Guys, I hope you've learned a little bit more about how you can switch from lathe to mill, the importance of rigidity, the reduced chuck size to go into your lathe or mill if you have those longer tools. And if we need to learn anything more about Heimboot, where, where can we find you? What's the web address, That's socials, any Heimbook, of that kind of stuff? HeimbookAmerica.com. Easy as that, guys. HeimbuchAmerica.com. Give them a shout. Reach out. At this point, I almost feel like it's irresponsible not to have one if I have a turning machine or, or a mill at this point. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned just as much as I have. Steve, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you. Have a good day.